A nationwide spike in fentanyl overdoses has become a major concern. Last year, we took 15,000 pounds of fentanyl off the street, 20 million fake pills. That's a lethal dose for every single American. The Drug Enforcement Administration says over 100,000 Americans died from drug overdoses in a 12-month period. Over 65% of those deaths are from synthetic opioids like fentanyl. And that's part of the problem is that people don't know what they're getting. And, and sometimes the drug dealers don't know what they're selling. Drugs are different than they used to be. And that's what took my son on March the 9th. Karen Williams says her son Daniel began experimenting with drugs and alcohol when he was only 15 years old. Daniel loved everybody. Daniel loved humanity. You know, he would do anything for anyone. In his 20s, an addiction began to develop when Daniel began using harder substances like heroin. Just about every addict, it starts out a lot of times as uh, fun and games when they're younger, but then as they get addicted to something, they don't want to be addicted. They don't want to live that life anymore. It takes everything that you've got, and that was where Daniel was. Daniel's mother said he had been in and out of rehabilitation centers. She says he had just got home to family in Terry from a 60-day recovery program in South Haven. But Daniel needed more help. His family was searching for a transitional home for him to live when the unthinkable happened. That morning at 7, he didn't come in. Daniel was living in a camper outside the family home. He was supposed to meet his mother for their usual morning devotional. I knew something wasn't right. You know, I could just, I guess I could feel it in my spirit. And I found him on the floor and he was gone. I mean, we just screamed and we cried. We called the EMT uh, and everyone came out. But that's the problem. A lot of times people don't realize until it's too late that there is a problem. And, and at that point, there's nothing that medical professionals can do. A longtime friend of the Williams family was one of the EMTs that responded to the scene. I screamed. She just held me tight. She held me tight. Um, it was the worst day of my life. The worst day of my life. And I don't wish that on anyone else. Stories like the Williams family provoked Governor Tate Reeves to sign House Bill 607 into law. This legislation sets more severe penalties for anyone who knowingly sells or profits from the unlawful sale of fentanyl that results in the death of another person. This law, if you're if you are convicted of being a dealer, you will spend no less than 20 years in prison. Increasing possible sentencing from 20 years up to life in prison, including a million dollar fine. Grayson Gordon, 16 WEPT News.